Hello and welcome to another episode of the Funnel Forecast on Back of the Net. For the remaining 100 games of the Premier League season, we gave ex-AFC Bournemouth legend Tony Funnel £20 to spend on individual game bets. And after 40 games, our balance was £8 of 5p. But after the last set of results, where do we end up? Let's find out. And across by Heffernan, and was that a foul? That's a goal anyway from Funnel, from Funnel, from Funnel. Good morning, one and all. My name is Tony, aka Mr. Tiggs, and with me is the true Tony, Tony Funnel. Hi, you all right? Hey, you, buddy, how you doing? Brilliant, yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, it feels brilliant, that's great. Uh, what did you think of the uh, Bournemouth Man United game this week? Did you watch it? Well, I thought my ploy was going okay the first 15 minutes. Back against Bournemouth, yeah, and then uh, Bournemouth going the lead, and they did do well, didn't they? They they was a lot more positive in the game, um, positive enough for me to um, not go against them this week. Ooh. I've said it in advance. <sighs> Spoilers, spoilers. Okay, well, I'm pleased to tell you, Tony, that our um, our balance didn't take a significant battering like <laughs> it did last week, uh, where you had only three correct. Uh, even before the Spurs game was played last night, I think you'd had about half of them right. So um, that's an improvement, definitely. Uh, Shall we see what our current balance is like? Yeah, yeah. And the current balance is down there now. Uh, you can all see it at home. Uh, so we'll do what we usually do. We'll run through the games for the, the game week uh, and we'll split our current balance over the individual bets uh, and see if we can come up with something great that you can give to charity at the end of all this, Tony. But just like the last show, we're throwing in another spanner in the works or rather, a, a, I, don't know, I don't know. No, I don't like the word spanner. We're throwing in an exciting new addition. We're throwing in... Uh, an opponent for you, Tony. A challenger. Hi, Steve. All right. Hi, Tony. Nice to see you. Nice and to talk you. to you. A genuine legend. Oh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, I'm, company, Tony, you know, I'm, Tony, I'm not sure. I, I think I prefer the spanner. <laughs> Do you know what, Steve? I've known, I've known Steve for a while. And I, I sort of said spanner. I thought, that's not fair on Steve. I'd never refer to well. him as a spanner. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of spanners, uh, what did you think of the Man United game this week? I'm pretty much like everyone else, to be honest, with Ballot Tone. Um, I, th- I think there was a lot of positives to take from it. We obviously are, you know, it, we, we come up against a, a, a very decent side in Man United in a good reign of form. And I'm, I'm a little bit, I was a little bit annoyed we scored when we did, because I think mm. if we'd have scored a bit later on in the half, we may have, you know, made a bit, may have made it a bit more tricky for them. Um, but on the whole, I, I think this, like, like everyone's alluded to, there's positives to take out of that into the next game, definitely, 100%. And it's good to see that there was a bit of genuine fight there because, you know, that was obviously lacking in the previous game. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what you go for uh, this this week, Steve, for Bournemouth. But before we get on to that, well, need I remind I actually, you? Well, go on. I went with my heart on the on the last on the last one and uh, took the sixteen to one chance that we beat them. Uh, unfortunately, that was lacking. And you didn't uh, cash in. <laughs> well, no, because we got beat five two, Tony. <laughs> no, after fifteen minutes, I'll cash out. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. no 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 no. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. No no yeah. no. I should have done, shouldn't I? Yeah, so yeah. Um, even more exciting, just to just to spice it up a bit more, gents. Last week, you may have seen on the Funnel Forecast, Adrian was playing for a special prize, and you'll be playing it for this week, Steve. Let's have a little look. If you manage to beat Tony's number of correct predictions, you will win a brand new exclusive Money Can't Buy Back of the Net bottle opener drinks coaster. Woo! How do you think? What do you think of that, well, Steve? <laughs> well, that's the only reason I'm here, really. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing you're going to do with that when you get it? Well... I don't know. <laughs> Open a bottle of beer, I guess. <laughs> In celebration. Okay, we better get started. So uh, let's have a look at the fixtures this week. So, uh, Tony, we'll come to you first and we'll sort of 
um, dance between the two. So we've got Crystal Palace versus Chelsea, Tony. What, what are you feeling? Yeah, Palace didn't do any favours against uh, Leicester. So I'm going for an away win for Chelsea. OK, and what do you think, Steve? I, I think exactly the same. I think, uh, you know, they, they looked good. At, well, they did a job on us. But since mm. then, I don't think they've looked that good at all, Palace. Um, whereas I know Chelsea took a knock against West Ham, but I can't overlook them on this one. I think there's too much at stake for them in the Champions League spots. So away win for me. Yeah, well done, lads. I think you're, I think you're both right. And then, Tony, we've got Watford Norwich. That's a crunch game for us. Yeah, and I'm afraid I'm selecting Watford home win. Oh. What do you think, Steve? Is it your heart or your head today? Well, my head says Watford as well, but do you know what? I think it's the last chance saloon for Norwich. I think they've got to, I think if they don't win this one I don't or don't get something from it, I think they might be down, mm. properly down. But oh, I'll go for a draw on that one. OK, that's good. That works. Uh, and then we've got Arsenal-Leicester, Tony. Yeah, this is one I thought would be a draw, but I'm going to plump for Arsenal. Okay. Steve? <laughs> yeah. They turned the corner, though, didn't they, Leicester? Vardy got scoring again. That's the thing that's making me um and ah about this one. I'm going to go for an away win. Okay. Well, let's hope that's, you know, their win left down for the season and they turn another corner before they face us, Steve. Uh, you've got Man City, <laughs> Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon, Tony? I think City must have some goals in them after the ones they missed against Southampton. So I'm going for a Manchester City home win. Mm. Steve? Yeah, I can't argue with that. I think they're going to have a rocket up their backsides after. I mean, they did everything but score, didn't they? But, um, yeah, home win for me. OK, and then we got uh, Sheffield United against Wolves. That's a really interesting fixture. Yeah, see how I'm going to shock you this time. I'm going to go for an away win, Wolves. <coughs> Steve's choking on that one. <laughs> yeah. uh, what are you going to go for, Steve? Steve? I contemplated this for a while as well. I think, I don't know, I think... I think Sheffield United are going to do them at home. I don't know why. That's just a, a gut feeling, that one. OK. And then we've got West Ham Burnley. I know. I'm going to upset you again. I'm going for a West Ham home win. OK. And Steve? I'm going to go for a draw on this one. I think, yeah, West Ham are eking out a few draws and... Burnley aren't doing that great either. They got a draw as well, didn't they? Last mm. game. Tricky against Burnley yeah. ball, though, isn't it? Sorry? It's tricky against Burnley ball, you know, that whole kind of sitting back. I don't know how West Ham will get well, over that. I don't know. I, don't, uh, I just think they, 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 they seem to be getting gut. They seem to be eking out a few goals here and there, West Ham. They, they, Antonio, he's a. Uh, when he's when he's on fire, he he's a bit of a handful for any defender, mm. I think. So I reckon a nice little one-one there. Lovely. Okay, and then uh, Tony, we're back to you for Brighton Liverpool. Yes, uh, in form Brighton as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm obviously going for uh, Liverpool away win. <laughs> 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 to be fair, Liverpool took a while to score, didn't they, Steve? In their in their last game. Um, I don't know if you saw it. I, I was sort of a bit worried about it, really. Um, what, what do you think will happen? Uh, here? Yeah, I think it'll be. Uh, I think it'll be much the same as a Villa game, really. I mm -hmm. think they're, they've they, they've quite obviously taken their foot off the gas a little bit, um, but I think they'll be too strong for Brighton. Just um, you know, he did. He didn't play the front three as they usually are, did he? No. And. When it did, when it wasn't working, he just went. Well, I'm going to change that, and then lo and behold, you know, you get two goals. So I think it'd be, you know, it's kind of the same deal if if they haven't scored by them. But I definitely think they're too strong for Brighton. 
Okay, and then we got Tony Bournemouth versus Spurs. Yes, this is going to be the start of a run for Bournemouth. Home win, Bournemouth. Oh, mate, thank you so much. Um, like, a, like, like that made, make magic. You just made magic there, Tony. That's definitely going to have to happen now, isn't it? Uh, Steve, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I just can't see us. We're just too, we're just leaking, leaking too many goals. As much as I want us to get a draw out of this, or if not a win, of course I do. Mm. I'm going to go with my head this time and go for an away win. Okay. We might, we'll come back to the Bournemouth Spurs game in a minute, I think, and just have a little chat about it before we before we finish, get some final thoughts on that. Uh, but on to Everton, Southampton, Tony. I'm going to go, even though Southampton played tremendous, they worked so hard the other night mm. and they got a great result, I'm going to go for a draw. Mm. What about you, Steve? Now, I... I've been very impressed with them. Uh, uh, you know, pains me to say it, but um, <laughs> f- fair play to them after earlier on in the season uh, getting thrashed nine nil. They've come back and they've they've looked really decent of late. Um, I'm going to plump for an away win again. Good. Okay. This is I, you know I really find this fixture interesting. I'm definitely trying to catch this one because they're the last two games we've got this season, aren't they? Those two teams. So. Um, mm. Oh, if Southampton walk over Everton and we have to go there and if there's anything left to get, oh, blah, okay, don't want to think about it. Uh, Villa United, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> I'm going to go for a away win for United. Okay, and Steve? Yeah, can't see anything else. I think Villa put a lot into that Liverpool game and came away with nothing. And Man United, obviously, really flying at the moment. I can't see many stopping that front three. No, it's so really... away win as well. I've got a well. lot of away wins there, haven't you I? You have got a lot of away <laughs> wins, but do you know what? The, the home away thing does it count anymore? I don't. I don't think. No, it well, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't seem to be. And it's nice there because we've got a bit of similarity. We've got quite a lot of differences. So we should be in for a really exciting ride this week. Um, and um, I'm wishing you the best of luck, Steve, in getting that getting that bottle open now. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Stop it, filler. Yeah, think about the pride of place where that can go. So before we, uh, we we sort of finish up today, I just uh, wondering what you what you're both thinking about the Spurs game, um, Tony. How did Bournemouth get something from this? I was just going to say, I'm still thinking about Steve's picks. If we went for Steve's picks, we'd win more money this week because there's those away <laughs> wins coming. That's what I kind of think most weeks, though, Tony. That's what, but it, it never really pans out like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did, I did have quite a good week a couple of weeks ago, where uh, I was managed to get my balance up to three pound and you know plus. But this week let me down a bit. Oh right, yeah. yeah. Sorry, we go back to you, Tony. Uh, Bournemouth, yeah. Um, it was very refreshing watching them, and they they were quicker getting forward, weren't they? A lot quicker mm. getting forward. Uh, back to playing the little combination moves and getting down the line like you know we're used to enjoy watching all the time. So hopefully they gain a lot of confidence from that and uh, can take it into the Spurs game. And, and you, Steve, you, you know, watching the game, who would you like to see keep their place and who are you thinking maybe we need to freshen up or change? Well, I was really impressed with Lloyd Kelly on the weekend. Mm. Although I know we shipped five goals, but uh, you know uh, uh, he put he put one hell of a shift in really against some of some of the Premier League's best strike force in in what Man United have got. So I'd like to see him. I don't, I don't think he will keep his place if Cook's fit. I think he might get pushed out to the left again. Um, Smith, I'd like to see go out for Stacey. I think he was he had a bit of a nightmare in all honesty. I just think he's out of form at the moment. I don't think he's a bad player. I just think he's he's lacking a bit of form of late. Do you think he tries um, to do too much, Steve, sometimes? I just see him running around in the defence, you know, when we're sort of pegged yeah, in. Yeah. 
it's like, yeah, I don't know if the communication's lost a bit. I don't know, but uh, he likes to go wandering. It's definite, you know, it's definitely, uh, but he doesn't get a lot of protection. He, oh, he hasn't been getting a lot of protection from Brooks of late. No. Um, I mean, I made a comment uh, on the on the chat, you know, would we, would we think about leaving Brooks out? And it wasn't necessarily, I should have worded it differently. It wasn't necessarily leave him out, but think of not playing him on the wing. You know, playing him more centrally, maybe behind behind Kingy, and giving giving the lot whoever is the right back a bit more protection. Someone in there, uh, I don't know whether. Well, actually, I don't know actually, or maybe even playing forward at right midfield or right wing, mm. and make you know he, at least he would give a bit more cover to Stacey if you see what I mean. But and yeah, do you think uh, Eddie's going to go four four two? Yeah, I think he will. Um, he tends to stick to what he knows, doesn't he? Um, mm. It personally wouldn't be my, you know, it keeps, it's not done us very well this year. Well, there, I mean, there's been a few tinkers about with it, hasn't there? But we don't seem to have found anything that's worked too regularly for us this year. Um, but I think that's what he'll plump for. I think, you know, there were signs on Saturday that, it, you know, there's a lot of more, attacking impetus and we need goals at the end of the day we need to win matches mm. so if that's the way Eddie sees it um, I think that's yeah, that's what he'll go for they've only got one choice haven't they they've got to go for it yeah exactly you know they, they can't sit and defend there's not enough games left so they've got to win yeah. a couple of games and, and they've got the talent back, there. They've, so... got, they've got the talent there to do it mm. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's just confident. just getting into click. I thought Stanislas on on um on the weekend was was excellent actually. Yeah, he, he done a really good shift then. Yeah, he yeah. was great. And I, whether whether he's an option, I, I've seen him play a couple of times more centrally, um, mm. sort of a deeper, sort of an attacking midfield role. I mean, I think he played against Everton there once, and he hit that uh, twenty five yarder. Um, and you just think, yeah, that's he just he, he likes to he finds little pockets of space, Stanislas, which I like. You know, and yeah, he works hard for the team. He's one of the old guard. He's been there for it all. Yeah, we'll see. Was, we'll see. I was going to ask you, Tony, just quickly before we go. Um, Dom Solanke not been able to get in the goals really at all much this season. One in the cup. Um, have you ever gone through a? I don't think you probably ever have. Have you gone through a Baron spell? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm asking the wrong striker. I'm asking no. the wrong striker. I'll it, get on the phone to Liam Feeney. It is. It is difficult because Ooh. some players can lose their confidence and they yeah. they don't want to get in certain positions. They don't want to shoot, and you've got to forget about all of that. And you know, if half a chance comes, you've got to have a go. You've got to have the confidence. I just. Probably I'm the same as most um, most supporters. I've been wishing him to score for a long time now because yeah. you know you just think if he gets one, you know maybe he gets one, and then the next game it's another one, and then our season could change just like that with just a little bit of confidence to a couple of players. Yeah. Well, Tony, you filled me with confidence. Think... Yeah, because. Well, I, 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 did, I backed Bournemouth this week, haven't I? You have backed Bournemouth this week, mate. Yeah. yeah, you have. One of your mates hasn't backed them, has he? <laughs> 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 well, I backed them last week, and look at that turned out. Oh, right. yeah, so did I. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Tony, for your predictions once again. Cheers, all the best. And Steve, fingers crossed on the bottle opener, buddy. Oh, yeah, 100% winning that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much Tony thank See you guys. all the best all the and best. that brings us to the end of today's funnel forecast but if you would like to perhaps come on here and have a chance to win that bottle opener coaster it's not one thing it's two things it's amazing if you want to win one of those then put your comments below like subscribe if you maybe show us something special down there in those comments and you think that you can beat the funnel forecast and we might invite you on. Thanks ever so much. Adios.